you know, to our defense to get Darren out there. And to Darren's credit, he's working overtime in the, in the, in the rehab part of it, in the, in the training room. And he's probably about a week to a week and a half ahead of uh, kind of the, the structure that we had set for him. And that's a byproduct of his work ethic. But I think for him to get out there and continue to earn the respect of his peers and his teammates and get back out there, uh, we need to get him back out there. I know he's anxious to get back out there. We just talked the other day about it. And uh, he's doing everything in his power. And I expect by the second week of camp, he should be ready to go full go out there. So that, that is important. And I think the other thing, when we talk about consistency, is on defense, everybody's tied to a string. And everyone has responsibilities. And so I think the more repetitions you can get with 11 individuals working out there as one, we talk about team defense, understanding and knowing where your help is, how to leverage the football, all those things. And it's just like, a, to me, it's just like a quarterback throwing to a wide receiver. You develop that trust, you develop that timing, you know, for making the calls uh, that you have to make, all those things. So it's going to be important for us to have consistency out there with 11 individuals working collectively as one. In terms of Georgia Tech, uh, great, great challenge. Very, very talented football team. Best old line uh, that they've had, I believe, since they've been there. Uh, we all know the, the many issues um, and edge that, that they have in which they play with. And we're going to have to play complementary football. Our offensive players have to know they're probably going to have 40 snaps in the game. That's it. So what we're used to, we get 40 snaps in a, in a half. Now we're going to get 40 to 45 snaps in an entire game. So I think not just for the defense, I think it's for all three phases of understanding complementary football and how that's going to work in this game. I think that's the biggest thing. But it is a great challenge because you have to implement your base defense that you're going to use 11 out of the 12 weeks. So you have to get that in. Then you have to completely change your entire mindset of getting ready for something entirely different, different scheme that we're going to play, all those things, and then kind of go back and forth. And so we'll never mix and match uh, with our preparation with Georgia Tech, where we'll have 15 periods of base defense and then three periods of preparation in Georgia Tech. So we have days scheduled where all of our emphasis will be just on Georgia Tech. And it'll be a 